Automatons, 2006, written and directed by James Felix Bikemi, starring Christine Spencer, Angus Scrim, and Brenda Cooney. A chilling account of one woman's life in the distant future, where a war fought by robots started by her ancestors rages on. One of the defining attributes of 21st century art was the look and feel of previous decades as an artistic choice instead of the byproduct of the decade they were made in. Music, television, film, and gaming all gradually saw the revival of things that were previously deemed retro or outdated. Old became new once again. This film was shot entirely on an old 8mm camera and uses old school sound effects generated by synthesizers while they used software for editing and visual effects, therefore making this the perfect marriage between retro authenticity and modern technology. The robots look incredible, looking like they were lent from a museum of sci-fi relics. Wind-up robots were also used in some scenes, but instead of coming across as comical, they demonstrate the shoestring ambition of the film. Christine Spencer carries the film as the unnamed female protagonist, who's lived her entire life alone in the bunker with tapes from dead scientists as her only companions. She convincingly portrays the detachment such an upbringing would cause. There are two surprising faces in this film. Angus Scrim of the Phantasm films and John Sergeant Benton Levine from Doctor Who, both playing scientists in the tapes that the unnamed female protagonist watches. The score is appropriately industrial with clanging drums and dissonant synths driving the scenes they're utilized in. This film feels like an encounter you'd experience in one of the Fallout games, which is fascinating as it precedes the third Fallout game by a couple of years. The credits revealed that a lot of the roles in both cast and crew were shared by the same people, something not uncommon in smaller independent productions. Unfortunately, this film came out right before the advent of YouTube, so it's a bit of a lost gem. There's some pretty impressive gore towards the end of the film as well. With one particularly awesome sequence featuring a robot turning a gun on someone and blowing half his face off. What makes this film work is the fact that the cast and crew take the premise seriously, with no one winking at the camera or mugging at the modesty of the production. This makes films like this withstand the test of time. Something lesser titles released at the turn of the century could only dream of doing due to their insistence of exhibiting smug self-awareness. Verdict, highly recommended. A confident film that thrives in its limitations. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.